Hello YouTube, Slow Life Pipes here. Hey, I wanted to take just a couple minutes and show you um, a cool little pipe refurbishers pro tip that you can do at home on your own pipes if you have this problem. So uh, I'm gonna flip around the camera around and take a look and show you one that I'm working on. It's got some, just a minor problem that I think a lot of people probably get on their pipes and an easy way to take care of it. Um, that you can do with almost any heat source in your house. So if you already know about this, whatever, disregard it. But if it's new to you, it can be really helpful for your pipe collection at home. So let's take a look. So if you're a clencher, uh, as I am, sometimes you get things that we call chatter. Like that right there, see it? And this one's pretty minor. I think it's a pretty common level of chatter. This is a pipe that I'm working on for um, a friend in a Facebook group I'm on who's uh, purchasing it for me. It's this little Peterson uh, Sports. And it has some scratches right there that I'm sanding out and I'm not done with. But <clears throat> I took a break to deal with the, uh, the tooth chatter that's in it that you can see right there. Little indentations. They're deep enough that you can feel them. And uh, this works on even deeper dents and and um, and tooth marks. So if you have these on your pipes and you're like, I hate these and I want to get rid of them, or maybe just like as part of your regular cleaning, you're like, I like to deal with tooth, tooth chatter and maintain the chatter on my stems as part of my cleaning regimen. <clears throat> Here's something really cool you can do. You uh, see the thing about tooth marks is that it's impactions it's not removal of material you've you've dented the surface essentially so all of the material from when the stem was smooth is still in there it's just dented down it's just dinged and so <clears throat> there's a way that you can bring that material you can lift it back out to the surface and the way you do that is just by applying a little bit of heat to the area so what you need is basically a heat source, obviously, not a lot. Um, I've done it with lighters, big lighters, candles. Um, you can do it, you can do it with steam. Um, it's a little bit messier if you use like a, a wet rag and a heated uh, flat edge blade or like a butter knife. You can put a wet rag over the surface and then press it with, uh, with a hot knife that will steam the area. Uh, any heat source, mild enough, that's not going to burn or melt your vulcanite or your acrylic. Uh, or it works on wood as well. If you have dents in the, the wood of your pipe, if you drop it, um, this will work on wood as well. As long as the material is still there, if it's a dent. If it's a gouge or a scratch, you're out of luck. That material has been removed. It's not there. But uh, if it's a dent, this will work. It won't make it all the way perfect all the time. But with minor stuff, it will lift those things back out to uh, a flush surface very often. Um, so I use it, it's always the first step I do um, on pipes, uh, on stems especially. So this happens to be a really good example. Um, I will show you how it works on the bottom of this P-lip stem right here. So I'm gonna use a heat gun right here on the low setting and you just watch what I do and then I'll show you the after. Again, you can see right there, there's your chatter getting a little bit of glare but there's your tooth chatter I tend to grip my stems right with my eye teeth right there so that's those pointy teeth just poking in in that one spot and they sit right between them when I clench so that's where mine tend to wear take a look low setting I'm just going to pass it
So, there was bite marks there, you saw them. And my name is Kent, it's not David Blaine. And, uh, and they're gone. So all you gotta do is polish that little spot where you were chewing and biting. See, I'd already done the top side, that's why I knew this pipe would be a really good example. I already did the bit on the top, and they just lifted right out. And it's totally smooth to the touch. It doesn't feel like there was ever any bite marks there. Um, so in your normal cleaning regimen, you can do this. Uh, use a use a votive candle, any any mild heat source that's not going to melt it. It really doesn't take that much. It just takes a little more than like <laughs> takes a little more than hot breath, basically, um, to uh, to fix some of that tooth chatter in your bits. It will work on acrylic. It will work on ebonite or vulcanite. It will work on briar. It will work on wood. Um, and outside of pipes, this is generally true of, uh, any products like this. You can always try to apply a little heat to dented wood or rubber or plastic products and see if you can get dented damage areas to lift back out for you. If you're re refurbishing pipes, a lot of times, um, if you have a real bad dent, um, this will at least lift out some of the dented area so that if you got to go sand it afterwards, you've at least, uh, diminish the amount of sanding you have to do it will lift some of the damage out and then you have to sand a lot less to get down to a smooth fresh surface so it's a little pro tip for refurbishers uh, or home collections of the day i hope you find it useful uh if you give it a try um uh post post a vr of a before and after um or even just a comment below letting me know, letting me know how it worked for you. Um, I'm not responsible for you melting your stuff, so don't come angry at that. I told you don't hold it still. Always keep it moving. Never hold your ebonite stem or plaster or acrylic stem stationary over a heat source. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Uh, your wood as well, because once you burn briar, it's hard to uh, sand a burnt spot out. So don't do that. But uh, it's pretty foolproof as long as you keep it moving and don't do it too long. If you feel like it's getting too hot, take it off for a break and let it cool down and then go back to it. And it will start, it will pick up right where you left off without having your stem be overheated. So give it a shot. Let me know how it works for you or what you think. Uh, and if you have other methods, those are great too. Feel free to mention them. Um, so anyway, that's all I got for right now. Have a lovely day. Until next time, grace, peace, and pipes.